Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. Good morning everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install a wooden trunk into your vehicle. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Max Jolly and I have a 1987 Volvo 240, which I'm going to be installing the wood trunk on. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do it for any car, but for me, I'm just going to be doing it on my Volvo. So if you have a car, don't feel discouraged. Most of these tips will help you figure it out for your own car or will be very similar, if not identical. Now, there are two reasons why you'd really want to do this. One, you just like the look and you want to have wood trunk in your car. I have a classic car. It's from the 80s, and I think this wood trunk would look really good. Another reason you might want to do this is if you have bags. If you have airbags, you can mount your tank to this flooring. You can mount your compressors. You can mount your controller, any of that stuff. Or if you have anything else, you might want to mount your trunk like a subwoofer. That can be really helpful because this wood is easy to screw into or glue onto. Enough of me talking. Let's go to the car, mock up our wood, and see how we're going to do this. Well, so we're here at the trunk of the Volvo 240, and as you can see, the 240 has this, like carpet liner that runs through the whole thing now what's weird and it's probably gonna be tricky about my car is that there are two levels of trunk there's this level and there's like a little step up and it goes to this level of trunk and then another weird part is that there's this weird little like i don't know if it's a cubby but you can kind of flip up the carpet and fit a little thing there well for most cars what you can do is take out this carpet and trace it onto all of your wood panels and then cut it out or you can use cardboard and like retro like put a cardboard in and just test and fit, test fit, test fit, until you find something that fits here and then trace the cardboard onto your wood. Those are the two main ways that people tend to go about doing this. What I'm gonna do is probably either a mixture of both or just use the cardboard method because this little cutout is weird. And then at the very corner here, it doesn't just come flat and then go up. There's like a little curve here. So I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit short probably but one thing another thing that i'm going to do is a little bit weirder than most other cars is i'm actually going to keep my carpet in the car so i'm going to put the wood over the carpet and i'm not going to do this upper bit i'm just going to leave it the black carpet because i think that looks nice and i don't actually think i have enough wood to do that upper part so i'm going to do this bottom part in wood just from this edge all the way down and then make a little cardboard cutout for here and yeah, I think that should be it. So first, I'm gonna go see if I can find some cardboard to start making my utensil. You ever had a dream that that you um you had you you? Right now, I'm gonna go see if I can find some cardboard to start making my stencil for the wood, and I'll get back to you in a second. So in my basement, I actually happened to find this box. I think it was from when we helped a friend move, like not too long ago, maybe like a year ago. So this is actually gonna work perfectly. It's plenty big, and I think if I cut it down this seam right here i can have one big flat piece and that'll help me mock it up in the car so i'm gonna use this cardboard here we're gonna go to the car and this has worked perfectly and i'm gonna start cutting it up and mocking it darling you now gotten to a point where i'm actually happy with how this cardboard fits into the car so i was being a little bit over perfectionist over here but now the gap is perfectly here perfect fit perfect fit all the way around so now all i have to do is tape these two pieces together because i cut it just to make moving this in and out easier and tape up this and now what i'm gonna do is take out this whole thing and trace it onto the wood once i assemble all the wood pieces so yeah this is my fit i think i'm just gonna go to this edge right here i'm not gonna worry about the top as i mentioned before and yeah that should look really good in wood darling you So I forgot to mention, 
if you're doing this in a card that is an Evolve 240, or really even if you are doing this in Evolve 240, you might still end up doing it a little bit more differently than I did. So if you did the cardboard method, you should end up with a stencil that you're happy with and are ready to cut out of the wood. But if you just trace the carpet, it's probably a lot easier for you than if you were to use the cardboard. <laughs> Just stepped into the backyard and we now have our wood panels all laid out right here and our cardboard stencil ready to be traced onto the wood. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna lay out all these panels. I'm gonna see if this longest panel right here will fit the width and if not, cause I, cause I wanna do the slats like this. I wanna lay them across like this, but if they aren't long enough for the length of the stencil, we're gonna have to do it like this, which isn't a big deal. I've looked up a few images online. It looks good either way. I just had a preference for doing this way. So I'm going to assemble all these right here and see if it fits. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. So I've just assembled all the wood pieces. Let's grab our stencil, see if this fits. Fingers crossed because this is my preferred way of putting it. Line up this edge. Oh. No. All right, so it comes out like maybe an inch or two off the edge. So we're not going to be able to do this the, the width way. So instead of doing the width way, we are going to have to turn our stencil more like this on the wood. And I'm probably going to cut this wood in half like this. So I can take these five and line it up with these five. And then I'll have to worry about cutting any of these or I can just leave these here. So that's what I'm going to do. Put it like this. That should line up. This definitely, five planks across is definitely halfway. And we'll do the other half on there, just like that. Easy peasy. So right now I'm gonna go grab my saw and I'm going to start by cutting this thing in half, assembling the five and five back together and then seeing if our stencil fits once again. Darling, you Now that I've got all five measured and there's a line down the middle, I can take them apart and start cutting. And it looks like our stencil fits perfectly around the wood. There's enough space on every single side for me to cut out. It's at least probably a quarter inch at the shortest and then a couple inches at the ends. So we should be good to go to start tracing the cardboard and cutting out our wood. And then after that, we can test fit. Now, there is one problem that we might run into. When I take off my stencil here, you might be able to see it these boards bow a little bit now it's not because it's resting on that plastic piece they the ones in the middle are pretty flat but on the end they start to bow up so if that becomes a problem later on we might have to put a little thin piece of wood under this and glue it just so it like flattens out but i don't see that becoming a problem if it does we'll deal with it but yeah let's start tracing and cutting it out darling you send 
Next step is completed. We have our trace all the way around the wood. So now I'm going to take all these panels off for the last time and I'm going to cut them out individually and I'm going to go along the lines just so I don't have to have this big whole piece over there where I was cutting. So I'm just going to take them all apart, do them one at a time. And one tip that I have for you is on the back here, label which one it was. So I'm going to put one on this one, two, three, four, five, six, just so that way, like for ones like this, where there's a line at the bottom, line at the top. You don't get confused between like this one or this one, which looks the exact same with the line in the bottom and the line at the top. So when you're doing this, make sure you number them. Calling you. Now that we've cut out every single one of our little pieces and they're all cut to size, should be able to fit. We can fit them all back together on the table for the last, or what I think will be the last test before we try them in the car. This So I've got the wood flooring entirely finished and it looks amazing. All the cuts lined up perfectly. The only thing that there's a slight issue about is that the jigsaw left a little bit if it'll focus. You can probably see it without it even focusing, but you can see the jigsaw left a little bit of burr, like, or like a little chip out right here on the sides. It's all the way around. You can't see it from like a foot away, but like if you get up close, you can see it. So I might put like some rubber weather stripping around it. I have to go buy that. I don't have any on me, but. This is it, this looks amazing, I'm so hyped. I'm gonna go try to put this in the car, but the one thing that we did mention earlier that I'm gonna mention again, these ends are bowing up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in the car, put some weight on it, leave it overnight and see if it gets any better. And if not, we're gonna have to make something that keeps those sides down. But yeah, this looks amazing. So I just brought the wood flooring back to the Volvo and I am so excited. Look at how good this looks. I'll get a better shot in a second. I'm just turning my camera around so it's a face cam, but it looks so good. I'm so proud. Um, the bowed edges aren't too bad. I'm gonna put weight on it overnight, like I said, but I think that's just all the problem. I mean, it's barely even bowed at all, so that should fix it. But let me show you real quick with a better angle. Look at this. It fits perfectly in the seam. Everything is super nice. As I said before, I might put a little bit of weather stripping just so you can't see these little chips on the sides and it'll look black and it looks super clean, but this trunk looks amazing. I am so excited. If you guys did this along with me or you also are going to plan on doing this to your car, this is the easiest project ever. I literally got back from school. I started it. Actually, that's not true. I started one day and I came back from school and I did this in maybe like three hours. It's like such an easy afternoon project that you can do and it makes your car look so nice. Especially if you're gonna do bags or a subwoofer or anything like that, what I was talking about earlier. But definitely, definitely do this if you have a car and you're trying to get some spice in the trunk. So that's actually gonna be the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel. It means so much and it's really to the channel. If you enjoyed the wood trunk install also give it a like and comment something down below about what i could have done better or if you like the trunk just let me know and any support for you guys is the 
best. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you staying to the end. Peace out, and I'll see you in another one.